question. I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. you. I'm, I'm you. proud of I'm you. I'm proud of myself. Okay, okay. thank you. So now, so now I ask. My question is, I repeat for you because yeah, please, he wasn't, you, he, he wasn't here. So Jesus, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 34, Jesus asked God the Father to forgive the sins of Jews and Roman soldiers because of the crucifixion, because of murdering the God of Christians. Okay, so now my question to him, how if Jesus classed the crucifixion as an evil act, so my question to you, how can an evil act bring salvation? Where does it say in the Bible? Show me one place. Can you go please look? Let me just finish talking. You okay. okay. Show me one place in the Bible okay, I'll show where you. it says the crucifixion is an evil act. According to this verse. No, no, just show me where it says. Okay. Just do that first, okay. then we can continue. Okay. I'm not in a rush, I'm okay. here. Sorry. Don't, don't rush yeah, it. Okay. Take your time. And I'll show you anyways. I know the verse I quoted, okay, the verse of our heart, but I'll show I'll you. I'll get my Bible out. Okay. Luke 23, verse 34. I'm just showing you the verse. What book is it, Luke? What chapter 23, I'll verse 34. Seconds. What is it? Luke, I've got it. Go on. Yes. Which chapter 23, verse 34. Yeah, I've got it. Go on. Carry on. 23, what? 34? 34. Okay. I've got 23 here. That quick. Look, that doesn't take long, did it, lads? Okay. Did it? It didn't take long. Brilliant. Well, I know, faster than you and I. Yes. And then I'm going to give you one question. Okay. I'm going to give you 10 that you can't answer. I'll say that on camera, I'll become a Muslim. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can I'm ask me. 10 questions. But if he answers one question, I'll give you my word, I become a Muslim right now. Okay. If you can answer 10 questions. Okay. 10 no, questions then, about what? No, don't worry about what. It's okay. not for him to know what, okay. is it? Okay. That's my questions for him. Okay. And for see what he knows about the Bible. Okay. He's claiming he knows it better okay. than the Christians, yeah? Okay. As he's claimed, I'm okay. going to prove to him he knows nothing. Okay. Zero. Okay. If he does answer one question, okay. I'm going to throw these crosses, the gold, like that, and say God is lying. <laughs> but if he can't answer them, then why can't Allah reveal to him the answer? Think about it. Why is Allah not revealing the answer? No, no, no. Let's now come to the topic. Let's come no. to the point. Let's come to the point. Allah 23, yeah, go on. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Can you move a bit there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because of the cameras. Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're yeah. doing. You know, what's the context? Why no, did no, Jesus no. ask? Don't tell me the context. Okay. Listen to what I suggested to him. Okay. Show me where, remember what I asked him, where it says it's an evil act. He hasn't shown it, has okay. he? No, okay, I will answer. But no, not your answer. Show me, I said, in okay. the book. Okay, That's wait. what I'm claiming, that he can't okay, show yeah. it. Can you move a bit forward? Okay. Yeah, show me in the Bible first. Okay, now, I don't want to hear what he's, got he's to say. asking me, show me, yes? That it's an evil act. The, do you know what context is? I don't want to hear context. I said, show me in the Bible. He doesn't want context. Bible. So I now he doesn't want context. I the claim I made. Do you know context? That he can't find in the Bible wait, that wait, Jesus' wait. crucifixion okay. is an evil act. Okay, well, He's still out. talking around He will come to the point now. You will come to the point. Shall I ask you? Shall I ask you? No, show me in the Bible first. Oh, there's no Shall question. I ask you? There's my 10 questions that come okay. next. Yeah, I'm coming. Shall I ask you? Okay, I'm asking now. You tell me what's the context of this verse. I'm then I'm coming to the I point. I don't do that. I read oh, scripture. Want... Can read... you help him? Okay, I'll ask another Christian. No, no, I'm answering for myself. I don't oh, need no He help. doesn't want to then. I'm going to answer the context. No, what's the context you tell me? No, I'm going to do it. Are you a Christian? Alhamdulillah. Are you a Christian? So listen to what he's saying. Okay. Father, okay. forgive me. them. Sorry, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff's there, isn't it? Oh, okay, just push it a bit forward. Yeah. Father, okay, no. forgive them. Uh -huh. They don't know what they're doing. Why did he say that? They're, I mean, he's asking me, let me answer. Okay, okay. He's saying it because uh -huh. they're not aware that they're putting God on the cross. They don't know. So putting him Jesus on the cross knows. is an evil act. No, it's not. Listen, Why would he ask listen, them? Let now me he's answer. coming to the Let point. Me respond now he's coming Let to the point. That's why, why I like it. Let me respond okay, why it. it's not. Okay, so it. Say, say it, say it. Say it. Uh, if everyone's quiet, I'll say it. Okay, say it. Listen to the answer. Okay. Why did he ask God to forgive He's them? Talking say it. Let me talk. Okay, I will, I, I will let you speak. Now. Okay, speak. Otherwise, I'm going to interrupt you. Okay, speak. You uh, okay, speak. You give me one minute now. Okay, okay. We'll time it. At the age of 12, Jesus knew he was God Almighty. No, no, no I'm matter. making a claim. Okay, he's and making a claim. I'm going to show claim. you scripture and you still won't believe. That's okay. I'm Can not you move asking a bit? you to believe. Bit, I'm telling you why I believe because it's in here and God never lies. That's what I believe. 
Okay, okay if it's in here, he doesn't lie. Can you move That's a number bit? number one. I can't, I told you my <laughs> No, you keep here. pushing me away. <laughs> right, so okay. I'm saying to you, number one, Jesus knew at the age of 12 that he was God Almighty. That's number one. But they didn't. That's why they crucified him. See, so saying to you, for their ignorance, I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah 53. It's called the suffering servant. Jesus knew he was going to go on that cross in advance. He was prophesied 700 years ago by Isaiah. Let me finish. He's asking me the question. He's got to let me answer. Then he can He's respond. Off topic now. No, then he can off mind. topic. I'm sticking to it if you listen. If not off he told topic me to give context. Now he won't let me. No, off topic. You said off topic. You said let me give you context. What's my question? I ask you, what is the reason Jesus asked the God to the forgive. Father to forgive the telling, Jews and the Roman soldiers? What telling, was the reason? I'm telling you why, but you won't let me talk. Okay. Isaiah 53, before Jesus was crucified, he said to Peter, I have to go to that cross. Whether I like it or not, I'm going to do your will. Because it's, it's written in scripture, he had to fulfill that. The Roman soldiers, he's not blaming them for that. He says to them, they don't know what's happening here. I do. I know why I have to go there. Is he answering? Let me finish. Uh -huh. The sins of the world, he did forgive. Up to that moment in time, any sin that was committed was wiped clean. For all from the beginning of Adam to Jesus come. The future sins of today, every Muslim, Buddhist, every one of you are still in your sins. But us Christians, through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit in our hearts, have passed. He's not answering. No, I am. No. Past, present, and future sin are wiped clean. You can't claim will, that. Will, 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 is he answering my question is now? Is it a good answer, Will? Did he I answer? Was, listening, he said, he's mentioned about the prediction of Jesus going to the crucifixion. But I'm asking him, uh, let me tell you I'm what, asking listen him. Listen to the question he gave me, Will. I said, no, he said to I me, repeat for him again. Why did he say, Father, forgive them for, they don't know what to do. I said to him because they didn't know they were crucifying God. But why, been, why did he ask them to forgive? Because God that's forgive his nature, sins. God is love. He's about to go oh. on the cross to forgive all the saints. Do you know that? Let me tell you now. Okay. I'll well. give you the He's context. Going to the next question okay. I'll give him the context. Response. The context, so the reason context. Jesus asked you know what he God. He says oh. in the Bible that it was an evil act. I said, show me. Oh, it's context. He just said the context now, the it's, crucifixion no, himself. I didn't say it's evil. He said because they, they killed Jesus. He Bill, said the Bill, reason Jesus Bible. asked God There's to no forgive their Bible. sins is There's because no of the, the crucifixion. Bible, it's an evil act. Okay, he said, Will, brother, come Will. here. I want you. No, don't. He's scared of me. I invite Will, you. He's scared He's not of me. Answering. He's scared. Shall He's scared, I? you're running. He's not answering. I just answered him. No, I don't, answer you're not answering. He answered in his own way. Okay. Will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Will. The context, yes. he also well, said... You know, do you know why he's running? Oh, he's pushing gonna, me. Sorry, I'm going to give him 10 questions me. right now, and he can't give me one answer. Okay, and if he does, I'm going to become here. a Muslim. He's Come running away from please. the questions. No, he's not answering, no, so there's no point. Ten questions. I said he Jesus... He can't answer oh. him. I'll be, I'll throw Look these dog trains away now. He's gone. He's not answering. No, but I will. He, he's not answering, so what he can I do? He's blocking me. He's scared. Okay, he's scared. talk to him. He's scared. Look, okay, he's scared. now I'm asking he's again. He's running away from a towel between his If legs. the crucifixion a is a, a holy incident, why Jesus asked God to forgive the sins of Jews and Roman soldiers. Therefore, Jesus clasped and believed the crucifixion itself is an evil act. Therefore, an evil act cannot bring salvation. That's what I'm asking. My second question again. My second question again. If, the spirit, the word of God. Watch, Phil. if Jesus died Phil. for his it's sins, like a yo -yo, look. and Cut Jesus said argument, everyone Phil. will be judged according to his deeds, then what did He's Jesus dreaming. die for? If you are to be context. getting judged by God the Father you according to your deeds, then Jesus I'm died not. for nothing. Romans alone. chapter 2 verse Truth. 6. Paul himself said everyone will be judged according to his deeds. Also Psalm chapter 49 verse 7 you, it, it says everyone will be judged according to his deeds uh, and again 
Deuteronomy chapter 24 verse 16 it says the same Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 30 it says the same Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20 verse 8 20 it says the same Again, Matthew chapter 20, chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Again, Matthew chapter 16, to 20, verse 27 to 28. It says the same. It says all those verses, Jesus said, all those verses says everyone will be counted and judged according to his deeds. So Jesus classed the crucifixion as an evil act. And therefore, Jesus also blamed Judas for betraying Jesus because of the crucifixion. Without the crucifixion, without Judas Iscariot, the crucifixion couldn't take place. In order Jesus to be crucified, Judas had to betray Jesus. And yet, for betray Jesus said to Judas and wished bad for him, he said, Woe in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, chapter 24, verse 26, or the other way, 26 to 24. Jesus said to Judas, Woe to him. I wish he would not have been born again. I wish it would be better if he had not been born again. Why? Because of betraying him. If Jesus died, came to die for Christians and Judas, including him, and Judas is one of the disciples of Jesus, why Jesus wished bad for Judas? Why? So that means the crucifixion is an evil act. Even the guy who who betrayed Jesus, Jesus class, he was an evil. So if Jesus died for the sins, why would Jesus blame Judas for betraying him? So why would he wish him to, he, it would be better if he had not been born again? Yet, if he, if he had not been born yet. So why would Jesus wish bad and disasters for Judas Iscariot? And yet, Judas Iscariot is one of the disciples who will stay in the heaven along with Jesus according to the Gospel of Luke chapter 22 verse 30. Jesus said, you will sit and drink in my kingdom and you will sit on a, on a throne judging the 12 tribes of, of the 12 nations of Israelites. So therefore, Jesus died for nothing. He classed the crucifixion as nothing. And in the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 4, Jesus said, Oh, my Father, I glorified you. I have, I glorified you by finishing the work you gave me. So Jesus said these words before the false crucifixion takes taken place. Therefore, the crucifixion was not assigned God did not assign the crucifixion. Uh, God did not assign Jesus the crucifixion. Otherwise, Jesus could say, I have completed the work, but only one work left, which is the crucifixion. The crucifixion is an evil act, was not planned by God. Was not planned by God. Jesus predicted nothing. Otherwise, he could not say, I've completed the work which you gave me. If he completed the work which God gave him, that means the crucifixion was not part one of the tasks was assigned by was assigned by God. Jesus, God never assigned Jesus the crucifixion. Therefore, that's a lie. That's a lie. There's no crucifixion was planned by Jesus or was planned by God the Father. Jesus said, I have completed the work. He glorified God the Father by completing the work. John, John chapter 17, verse 4. So therefore, there is no crucifixion. There is no salvation for Christians. Yet Jesus will judge according to their deeds and he will ignore them according to their evil acts. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The sign of Jesus is the sign of Jonah. Jonah lived in the fish, in the belly of the fish. And Jesus said, my sign is same as Jonah. Jonah lived in the belly of fish for three days and three nights. Did Jonah die in the belly of the fish? No. Jesus said he will be in the heart of the earth. So Jesus, if he could be, if he was in the heart of the uh, ground, therefore Jesus did not die. Otherwise, Jesus never fulfilled 
the prophecy of Jonah, the sign of Jonah. Otherwise, Jesus was lying. Then he was given false messages by saying that. So, and God of the Bible said what? In Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel, God, Ezekiel, God said what? The, and chapter 40, chapter 14, verse 9. God said, if a prophet is given a false message, I, the Lord, deceived that prophet. So therefore, if Jesus died according to Christians, Jesus didn't fulfill the prophecy of Jonah, the sign of Jonah. So therefore, Jesus was deceived by God. And according to them, if Jesus died on the cross, that means Jesus was ungodly. Do you know why? In the book of Psalm, chapter 37 verse 28 it says for god loves justice he will save his godly ones and he will protect them and he said he will destroy the children of the wicked that means jesus said what in the book in the book of mark in the book of mark chapter 15 verse 34 jesus said to god my god my god why have you forsaken me and the psalm said what chapter 7 verse 30 uh, 28 20, uh, 28 it says god for god loves justice he cannot forsake his godly ones if jesus was forsaken according to them therefore jesus was ungodly then so that's why we don't believe the bible jesus is the blessed jesus was godly he's a godly man but christians believe jesus was ungodly man he's the cast one but we muslims believe jesus is the blessed one Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.